to snap the ball, so you have a minimal amount of time to, you know, get ready for it. So I think the only way you can prepare for it is do it in practice, so the players can anticipate to some degree what they might see, uh, and that's that's what we'll need to do this week. Right, Charlie, you already mentioned the defensive line, but is, is this the best defensive line you faced so far this year? And if so, what stands out most? Well, I don't think there's any question about it. I think these two guys are really hard to block. I think their whole front seven is really hard to block. Uh, they're very physical. They play tough. They play together. They're well coached. Kevin Steele does a great job, you know, with them. Um, so they're tied together well. So, you know, you're going to have to finish blocks, and um, we're going to have to play well together as a team. We get a hat on a hat, and um, you know, same thing in the, in the, the pass game. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's a run or a pass. Those guys are pretty down the players. So. This, this is the most challenging front uh, that we played this year. Kind of follow up on that. You, you've had some pretty dominant defensive tackles, defensive line here. What stands out about Derek Brown and, and how much of an impact? I mean, Florida game comes to mind that he's really had a huge impact on some of these games. Well, he's had a huge impact on just about every game, in my opinion. Um, you know, we've always thought a lot of him as a player and had a tremendous amount of respect for him. but. Um, you know, he's got great initial quickness. He plays with a lot of power. He uses his hands well. He can disengage from blockers very quickly. He can push the pocket, you know, really well with the power rush. So uh, he's a pretty complete player and uh, as good a player as we played against for a while around here as an inside player. How does your defense handle an offense that runs the ball a lot more than those teams like Ole Miss did and like Auburn probably? Well, you know, I, I, I think that they create a lot of circumstances with formations and motions. And I think the big thing is, you know, we got to line up correctly. Uh, we got to adjust to these formations correctly. Uh, the players up front have to, you know, win their gap, win their responsibility, play well on the line of scrimmage, uh, get off the blocks. And, um, you know, they got some really good play action passes to go with some of this stuff. So, Back end people have to be in good run force position, but they also got to play run pass when it's their responsibility to do that so you don't give up big plays. And, um, you know, it's, it's very challenging, but uh, you know, that's, that's the game that we play. And you know, I think our guys look forward to you know, trying to play a, a physical game up front, and that's going to be a real key in this game. Cecil. Yeah, Coach, the converse of that. How has your running game improved over the last four or five games, and how do you run against a team that you don't necessarily seem to bring the same defense? matches? Well, uh, you, you know, I, I think that, A, I thought we were making a lot of progress in how we ran the ball. Uh, I thought last week we had uh, some issues and problems and blocking movements up front. Uh, they gave us some negative plays with some stunts and movements and things like that, which we definitely need to get corrected. Um, but look, you know, we run the offense that we run. Uh, they put extra guys in the box, which they do sometimes. Um, you know, we either have to account for them or we have to throw the ball. And if they play split safeties, we got to be good enough to be able to finish blocks and um, be able to make it make positive running plays, whether they're direct runs or perimeter runs. So, um, they got good players. That's why they have a good defense. They got a sound scheme uh, in terms of how they execute it and how they play it. And when you play teams like that, the number one thing you have to do is execute yourself. So that's going to be the key for us. Stan, what there Mike? How much do you expect Tua to be around the team this week, and do you expect him to travel on Saturday? No. Uh, you know, we expect Tua to do what he needs to do to, you know, get healthy himself. Um, we're trying to get him. Sort of back into school and doing what he needs to do in school, and um, you know he knows he's welcome around here anytime that uh, he feels up to it. Uh, I think it's always uplifting to the team uh, when he's around. Um, he, I talked before about his spirit and leadership having a positive impact on everybody around here, uh, and you know certainly you know we'd love to see him as, as much as possible, but he's also got to feel up to it. You know this guy's been through a lot here. Kind of leave that up to him. You touched on containing the running back a little bit, but when the quarterback is an important part of the running game, like it is for Auburn, what's the most important aspect of containing that? Is it as simple as gap discipline, or what more? Well, I think any time the other team's quarterback can run, I mean, you can run in a lot of different situations. You know, they can spread you out when the quarterback draws based on the look that you're in. Uh, it's good scramble. 
Moore. Uh, he extends plays, you know, a lot in the passing game. Um, you know, they run some quarterback runs. Um, so I, I think that you have to play those plays, you know. Everybody's got to know who's squeezing, who's scraping, you know, and how you're playing those plays. And you've got to be disciplined in being able to do it or you're going to leave somebody um, unaccounted for. So um, we played against all these plays before this year, so it's not like we haven't ever seen it before. I have two, if you will. Uh, first off, uh, DJ Dale, you didn't mention him, but he was questionable last week. Is, is he kind of day-to-day like the rest of them? He's day-to-day. Great. And then um, the last few games with Mac, you've seemed to start him off with some pop passes, some screens. Is that something you like to do with a more inexperienced quarterback, or what's the thought process behind kind of getting him started like that? Well, I think every every game, you know, we're always trying to, you know, script some plays in the beginning that we feel like are going to give, you know, all of our players, hopefully, success, you know, early in the game, whether it's, you know, formation based or, you know, the kind of throws that we want to make early on in the game to sort of get people um, confidence and having positive plays. So um, we always try to do that. We always try to go over what we're going to do. We always try to review it with the players so they know exactly what to expect and hopefully that enhances your ability to execute. Coach, I know you said to, to Mac, hey, man, you're not a sparring partner anymore. Here's the keys. You're driving this thing down. From your perspective as the leader of the program, what's the psychological shift that comes with that for a player and specifically for him? Well, I, I just think that, uh, you know, you have to accept the responsibility in the role. You have to be confident in your ability in that role, and your body language has to you know, sort of express that to the players that you're playing again with. Um, so uh, I think all three of those things are probably critical factors in being able to do that. Positive body language is really important. Uh, everybody's striving to be perfect. Nobody really can be. Somewhere along the line, you want to hit on exceptional. Um, and that, that, that's kind of what we try to get our players to do. But when it doesn't go the way you'd like for it to go, um, we got to focus on the next play. We got to learn from that play, and I think that's really important for the quarterback not to get, you know, at all frustrated about the circumstance and continue to focus on the next play. And his teammates need to see that and have confidence in that ability, confidence in his ability to do that as well.